Hello everybody, good day, wherever, whatever time zone you are in. And uh, I haven't been uploading videos in more than eight months. And, uh, and un un unless someone, something, something really impels me to do it, I tend to, uh, I guess, uh, refrain from doing it. Today, someone very close and dear and near to me sent me a video. I'm a, I'm an animal lover. I think uh, animals are far superior to humans in many ways and uh, animal species are very widely mi misunderstood by humankind and animals are totally capable of loving and uh, in fact animals uh, kill for food and hunger but humans just for ego and to consolidate their power they would not hesitate to destroy and kill and harm other human beings so there is a difference there anyways today I someone sent uh, like I said someone very close to me sent me this uh, uh, video clip uh, that's uh, of course it's on uh, that's on Google uh, just take a look and uh, something uh, something made me think about it and I want to share it with you let's take a look at the video together and then I'll I'll share my thoughts with you now watch this little baby gorilla i'm sorry gorilla i keep saying it uh, the wrong uh, gorilla means something else gorilla the animal uh, what it does the baby gorilla is just uh, see the parents the parent uh, gorilla has a hard time the mother has a hard time because this little baby gorilla is uh, behaving in a very, very, very eccentric fa fashion, uh, totally erratic, and the mother gorilla unable to uh, handle it, hands it over to the father to, and, uh, but regardless, the, uh, who, the scientists who studied this behavior came up with the conclusion that uh, it's just the gorilla, the gorillas, the baby gorillas, just uh, brought up in a very, how do you say it, unhealthy environment that is not uh, conducive to the uh, formative years in the growth uh, early years, uh, tend to exhibit this behavior. The reason being, uh, you know, you see, the, go the baby gorilla needs to be with the other gorillas his age like other baby gorillas uh, and uh, and uh, in that environment in with that interaction that uh, uh, the the baby gorillas uh, uh, with one another has have to uh, grow up and uh, if that is missing in their formative years uh, they tend to become very eccentric and sometimes even dangerous uh, that's the conclusion or that that's a fact uh, the uh, the animals uh, scientist inferred from this uh, this and this video sort of uh, uh, you know illustrates uh, what they have to convey good enough okay that's about the gorilla all right uh, let's take a look uh, we'll will will we'll, we'll take a uh, you know this what is true of gorilla is very true of human uh, beings as well. Uh, let's see how it is uh, pertaining to human behavior as well. So, the above findings in the gor gorilla babies are also so true of humans. We always look at people, people's outward behavior and tend to judge, criticize and condemn them, condemn their behavior. We never for a moment think why someone is behaving in a certain way, in a certain situation. We blame the situation and the person's behavior that we find unacceptable. But our experience is what we are today. We do not even know why we behave and react in, a, in an unacceptable, unpalatable manner in at different times. 
the roots of all this can go back to our childhood traumas losses pains even deprivation of some things or more than one thing that fails to provide a wholesome emotionally nurturing environment some of us are lucky that we overall had healthy nurturing environments during our formative years but we cannot say the same thing about everyone our experience be it good or bad determines who we are today just add to that uh, the ideas put into our heads from the teachings learnings uh, reading and exposing ourselves to certain unpleasant environments or by contrast a healthy environment that may also go towards more molding our character not only character our psyche and personality which is all boils down to the same just that's not all no two people have the same constitutional predisposition and biochemical makeup we all process information going into our heads differently expose 10 children just for an example 10 different children to the same unpleasant environment and you will see they will all process their experience be it pain or pleasure disappointments or accomplishments totally different from one another i mean among themselves they will grow up to be different people from one another from these experiences sometimes the pain and disappointment make one put up a fight and achieve what they want in life while another is a becomes a total loser who gives up on everything yet for all a third person may turn into a joker or a clown taking everything lightly and laughing about everything while yet another might turn everything into a will turn him into a a psychopathic bitter criminal but choose your battles wisely only your common sense intelligence introspection and wisdom can determine when you want to fight and when you want to ignore and walk away you may want you may even want to say it as flight and fight and flight uh, mechanism uh, but your common sense will determine it whichever way you look at it when we see unacceptable behavior and the reaction of someone do we all think think of all these factors that are not visible to our naked eyes no never we blame the reaction and try to take uh, counter reaction counter action rather not realizing the hidden causes brought about this uh, the unacceptable unpleasant reaction in someone if all of us are perceptive in every given situation we will certainly show sympathy towards the unreasonable unacceptable unpalatable behavior of others unfortunately that is asking for too much from the naive shallow minded selfish driven human beings human species it will be asking for too much and uh, we we will we are controlled by a rational and intelligence beyond human scope and capacity what i'm trying to say is asking for us to all of us to expecting all of us to be very perceptive and understand the outward uh, outburst or even the reactions or unpalatable uh, uh, manifestations of other people we will we can never fathom 
it it calls for a rational and intelligence beyond human scope and capacity with all that said nobody is stopping us from striving to become better human beings the choice in the end belongs to us thank you